Have you ever found yourself playing your game, but you forgot to switch your scene over and you're still broadcasting your intermission scene? I have a solution for you. You can use your voice to switch your scenes without having to leave your game. It works for both OBS Studio, Streamlabs OBS, using a third-party software that is free. I'm going to show you how to use that and integrate it with OBS so that you can use your voice to change your scenes and other things too, if you wanted to. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. But first, a word from our sponsor, ExpressVPN. Today's video is brought to you by ExpressVPN, the number one VPN provider in the world that gives you 100% privacy on your internet. Enjoy blazing fast speeds, DDoS protection, and unrestricted access for the ultimate gaming experience. You can get a risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee. It is easy to set up. Simply sign up for ExpressVPN, connect to the VPN servers in one of the 160 global locations to reduce ping and lag while gaming online and play your games with ultra fast speeds, the best in class security and no geographical restrictions. It allows you to go incognito, unlike the incognito tabs in your browser where you can surf and access content that you want to see without everybody else knowing about it. So check out ExpressVPN. Link is in the description below. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to download a piece of software called Voice Attack. You can go to voiceattack.com. Link will be in the description. Uh, this is a free software. There is a paid version of it that gives you pretty much unlimited commands. The free version is a kind of like trialware, but it gives you unlimited uses and it does come with enough key commands that you can use to set for most of your scenes. For most people, it'll be perfectly fine to use all your scenes there. It'll give you enough that you'll be able to do that. So it's easy to set up. Let's go ahead and get it downloaded. You need to install it. Uh, it will run you through the installation. Once you get that done, there's a couple different little tips that it'll do. And I do definitely recommend that you use the speech recognition tutorial. Uh, let the uh, let Windows uh, learn your speech so that when you use voice attack, the words that you would say in a way that you would pronunciate them doesn't get confused because it is very important. So I definitely do recommend running through that tutorial. It will take you a little bit because there is a lot of reading that it does, but it's queuing in on the way that you pronunciate so that, you know, when you use voice commands, they don't get confusing. All right, so this free version that I am using here gives you one profile. To get multiple profiles, you'll definitely need to get the full version, but you can go and use this profile and then you can edit. And this is where you would go in and actually add different commands. Uh, so here you can go and you can actually rename the profile if you wanted to, to say like OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS, whatever you want to use. But here we'll go in and uh, it also does come with some basic commands for different applications that are you know generally available in Windows. But here we're going to make these specific for OBS. So I want to go in and make a new command and then we can name this, you know, game or whatever, game scene. And then what I want to do is I want to hit the key press. And then this is going to allow me to uh, then select the keys that I want to use. And in this case here, I was, I'm was i using control shift and then a function key. So I'm going to use F4 here. And whenever I say game scene right here, or if you wanted to say switch to game scene, you need to type what you want to say. It will then switch to your game whenever you say that phrase. Uh, the key is here is to make sure you enunciate each word, make it sound, don't try to slur them together because sometimes it'll get confused. So, you know, just say it, but that will be it. And when you hit OK, then from that, what you'll need to do is then go into Streamlabs, OBS or OBS Studio, go into the options, and then hotkeys and find your game scene or find whatever scene you're setting it up for and then add that same key command to your scene. Now, so what you'll need to do now is you need to repeat those steps for each of your scenes that you want to be able to control with your voice. And then 
by using those key combinations, you'll be able to then, you know, use voice attack with it, which is really nice. Now there's some tips I'd recommend you do. First of all, whatever you're going to use for your voice command, I recommend you putting that in parentheses for your different scenes. That way, in case you forget, you can look inside of OBS in your scene list and you'll know what to say. So for instance, for me, I'm using just switch to game as my command. So I have game in parentheses inside the scene. So I'll just know that that's what it is. And I have that for each of my different scenes. Okay, the next thing you need to know and keep in mind, especially if you use a lot of hotkeys for different things, is not to repeat the hotkeys inside for your voice commands for something else that you're already doing because then you're gonna activate it for both of those different things, which could screw you up. So make sure you do not copy commands that you're already using. But once you do that, then you can use your voice commands to control your different scenes, which is really a nice feature. Uh, I have used it here within the last couple of weeks since I've had this set up and I really enjoy doing it. Master, I'm sorry, TDM custom server on this. Switch to game. That there was a mod in this that actually had wall hack built into it as one of the mods. And One was, last thing I want to talk about uh, with voice attack, you do need to run this as administrator because if you don't and you have it minimized, it will not work. So run it as administrator, then you can minimize it and it will still work. But personally, I kind of like to have it up because you do see when it recognizes commands or when it does not recognize commands. So it kind of just kind of gives you an idea of what how you need to say something for it to work consistently. Another thing, there are more advanced ways to get this to work with OBS Studio using other plugins and such. I didn't wanna really go into that with this video, uh, but I will give a link below to a video that does describe how to go into more advanced ways of doing it if you don't wanna use hotkeys. So if you are interested in that, link in the description other than that have a great day be safe out there and make sure you like this video subscribe to the channel hit the bell all for notifications so that you'll know when every video goes live and you can come check out what i have for you next uh, i love voice attack is a great frugal way to add customization to your live stream and i hope you enjoyed it we'll see you later bye bye